Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Masa Darakshani, a senior lecturer in digital communications and Wolfson School. Today I'm going to talk about wireless communication, why it is important, and how it's related to our programs. Also, we will have a demo to show the benefits of a multiple antenna wireless technology. Mobile communications have been a part of our lives and their development has dramatically changed the way we communicate to the point that we can't imagine living without our mobile phones. All this happened in less than 50 years and technology is still advancing fast. And we see emerging applications and services depending on wireless communications and we're experiencing more complex networks where virtually everything will connect together. This all shows that telecommunication engineering is one of the potential directions that students can pursue for their future career. Also, wireless and digital communications is becoming a building block of many electronics and robotic system. Therefore, one of the learning outcomes of our programs is enabling students to understand principles of information technology and communications and also learn design techniques of such systems. For example, in network robotics, we need information exchange between different entities in that system so that each entity can have a full awareness of its surrounding via communicating with others. Depending on the program, we are offering modules to achieve this learning outcome, such as principles of digital communications, computer networks, mobile network technologies, and telecommunications security. Let's now look at a simple wireless link with a transmitter and a receiver, as you can see in the figure here. The objective in this system is to detect the original bit sequence at the receiver side. The original signal will be detected using the signal received over the channel. But what is the challenge? The challenge is, in wireless communications, we are experiencing signal impairments. This means that what we transmit is not actually what we receive exactly. There are different causes for the impairment. The signal can be attenuated while it's trans traveling to the receiver, can be distorted and can also be corrupted because of noise. I will explain a few of these in a more detail and also show you how we can combat this. Here I explain what happens in a noisy channel. Let's assume we like to transmit four messages over the channel to the receiver. These four messages can be represented by the red crosses in the left diagram. When channel is noisy, the received signal will deviate from the red crosses and we will actually receive the yellow points. In the left figure, the noise level is low, so the received signals are in close neighborhood of the transmitted signal. So as we can see in this figure, the yellow points are in a close neighborhood of each red cross, so the signals are distinguishable. But as we move to the right, the noise level is increased. We can see that when the noise is increased, it is difficult to guess which signal has, me, has been transmitted since the noisy received signals are scattered around. To understand the effects of the noise, here we see an example. On the top, we can see a picture of our beautiful campus in a sunny day. This picture is transmitted over a noisy channel and the received image without any corrective signal processing would look like the picture on the bottom, which is noisy. 
The other kind of impairment in the wireless communication is fading. The transmitted signal will be attenuated and distorted along the way due to reflections, blockage by tall buildings, and many other factors. This simulation here shows how the received signals, yellow points, will look like compared to the red crosses over a fading channel. Looking on how yellow points are moving around, it's clear that the situation for a fading channel uh, compared with a noisy channel is exacerbated and the accurate detection is less likely. Here again, we see the effects of fading with the previous example. We can see that how received signal is distorted over a fading channel compared with the original signal. The situation is worse than the noisy channel. There are many techniques that can be used to alleviate the effects of noise and fading in wireless channels. One of them is diversity technique. In the diversity technique, we transmit the signal multiple times using multiple radio resources. Since the noise and fading are random, the chance that we can receive a copy with a better quality will be more, and this will help the detection. The signal can be repeated in time or frequency, but since radio resources are limited and valuable, that's not very efficient, but we can also use different antennas at the transmitter and receiver and exploit space diversity since the signal will also experience a different noise level and fading over different antennas, the same signal can be transmitted by different antennas and this will help to improve the detection performance. This technology called multiple input, multiple output, MIMO. MIMO is a successful wireless technology. Here I display a MATLAB demonstration which shows the benefits of MIMO technology. In this simulated system, which you can see on the left, transmitter and receiver can adaptively choose the number of antennas they like to use, as shown in this figure. Depending on the noise level and experienced fading, to keep the error rate fixed, you can see the error rate level in this figure, and the error rate is fixed to a target level which is not noticeable for that application. This will end my presentation. Thank you for listening to me and hope you have enjoyed this demonstration. If you have any question, please feel free to get in touch. All the best and goodbye.